intro song I... done <clears throat> Tran on different on discord done and transition on obs D ah. done where there we Yay. go there we go Little, yippee the classic scuff when i have a vtuber episode the usual because we all know we can't be a vtuber without scuff because that would be not a real vtuber at least Hell in this yeah. universe. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't think there's ever been a VTuber that has ever not had scuff. Look yeah. it up. I, I bet I bet nobody has. I no. swear. Yeah, it's 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 it, it's impossible. It's just the laws mm. of this world. Mm. If if there isn't mm. scuff, it, it's it's fake. It's it's, it, it's AI. Yeah, no, if there isn't scuff, that's AI. That's <laughs> <laughs> Actually, actually well no that's hold on that's also like an ai video but the vtuber itself isn't ai because okay nah. so this is this is a small tangent because okay before mm -hmm. this, i mean like how we're going into a tangent before i even mm -hmm. introduce you neurosum is an ai but there's yeah, so yeah, yeah. much scuff there's yeah but so... the scuff is from human error and is <laughs> never from the is never from neuro side right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well right what We'll see if Nero ever gets to that point because she's overriding filters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, it's man. always is always the um is always the insane. I honestly have only watched a couple of Nero clips. Me too. So me too. I I I don't know too much, but I was thinking of uh the time she uh was baking cookies and she was like, "You need to put dirt." <laughs> you can put dirt, flour, and a lot of water. I remember that. I see that clip too. I've seen that clip. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, anyways, it's been about a month and a half since we last podcasted. I went to Europe. Mm -hmm. I had my birthday stream. I played a clash game and I've been too Wait, exhausted. A clash, game? clash weekend for league clash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. League, league, yeah. league. Yeah. And I uh, How cool? uh we went two and two. So nice. not terrible, but could have been better. Uh, mm -hmm. And yeah, there's a, just life has been going on for me, busy at work, trying to do other stuff. And uh, yeah, now, uh, now I, I really wanted to podcast, if not do other gaming streams for a bit, because I've just been gaming off stream. But yeah, we're back. We're back. It's literally been like a month and a half, like a month and 13 days or something like that. So, and we have a nice. new guest today. Yeah. I'm trying to hit oh, my... Wait, should I have been silent this entire time? No, you're good. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> you're fine. Keep doing you, fam. I'm going to... Because I'm going to react like that when you're telling stories too. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Uh, But yeah, it's... uh, Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Neon Podcast. If you're new here, hi. I'm that orange VTuber dude on the left. I'm Neon. Nice to meet you. This is, look at my channel. If you're watching on YouTube, hi. Uh, and yeah, uh, there's a lot that's been happening. I just, I also want to hit my goal for the for the end of the year of a reach episode 180 before the end. And you know, when the holiday season comes around, it's gonna be a lot harder. So I'm glad to be back. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yippee! And, uh, yippee! <laughs> and now I have, like I said, I'm a new guest. Look at. Look at this person. Wow. 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 New person. So, so adorable. So cutesy. But are they a cinnamon roll? Who knows? Uh, only time will tell on this episode. Uh, you yeah. you all won't know shit. Yeah. It's funny because I also don't know shit. Uh, that's the best part of bringing on someone on an episode. We're like, I think we'd vibe. But then I don't know what kind of vibe. <laughs> <laughs> so, true. so but yeah if you if, if this lovely individual like to introduce themselves uh would you like to introduce yourself yeah i am tsukino bunny or you can call me bunny i'm a vtuber as a hobby and i live on the moon though so you know i'm gonna just casual things Ooh, the moon just casual yeah. things the moon that's like that's definitely like what was it is it chin chinese hair cultural that the bunnies live on the moon or from the moon rabbits mm. um it's an east asian east asian thing uh like yeah it's an east asian thing but also there has been uh north american indigenous groups that have similar myths to it oh. so it's all very fascinating but the but the myth that i really like the most is that the rabbit actually makes 
dumplings and it goes feeds it to the moons oh. and growing up at, as a kid i was like oh that's so great but then when i was young i read mm -hmm. a comic this is such i you know i remembered this just now there was a comic about um uh, about two kids they go onto a futon and just fall asleep on the futon and in the comic the next panel shows like one of their imaginary friends folding that futon up like a dumpling and then oh. flying that like dumpling out and feeding it to the moon oh and wow. so i was yeah and honestly i was like the wait did they get eaten <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like a very yeah it's like is this supposed to be a life lesson or what is it <laughs> it felt like a shit post because um because like the the comic series itself was like a very like it was kind of like a how i would say like one of those uh like peanuts style comics where it was like about a family like a typical like mom dad and then two kids, and then their imaginary friends or something. Mm. Don't remember the name, but uh, my I truly I truly read that one comic, and I was like that that's gonna be my entire personality. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like so, so you you don't eat futons with kids in them, right? You f you feed them to someone. Is yeah, no, 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 no. We yeah. So uh, we've evolved past that, right? That was, I don't we've know, evolved. in like the 90s, right? <laughs> okay. You, you know, it was a different time back then, right? But now now this is the this is the 20, 21st century, right? Yes. 20, 21st century? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. Now we just have Uber Eats. Yes. Mm. So... <laughs> So, so are you Uber? Okay, are you Uber eating like dumplings or just everything that you want via Uber Eats? Thing, you know, there's so many ghost kitchens. That's true. There are so many. Right, right. There's so many ghost kitchens. We we just need to order everything. You could you could get anything. Oh, you know, especially in today's world, you look at the menu and they're like, oh shit, some of them are AI generated. Oh. Dang. Yeah, I, I feel like you have a lot of knowledge about AI stuff and like Do things. I, I mean, I feel I, like I, I don't know, maybe maybe more than a common person because I'm just like, oh, that's AI art or that's an AI video. But I'm like outside of the generic uh, stuff that you shit post see online or people try to steal credit for and stuff. I don't know much mm. about what else AI is being used for other than like chat GPT and like music making for samples, but <laughs> stuff like that. I mean. Mm. Outside of art, I don't know what it's what else is being used for. Is my is my. Saying. I mean, yeah. Who knows, dude? At this point, they're trying to Im they're trying to implement it in everything. At this point, I'm just like, whatever, man. Please stop. <laughs> uh, at this point, I'm just like, I crave like physical touch, dude. Screw AI. Like, just hold my hand, you know, or like just touch fingertips, you know. It's like that fucking scene from like from like ET where it's like they're holding out their <laughs> fingertips. Like just do that. Okay, I swear that will be infinitely more positive on my life than whatever AI thing you're trying to do. <laughs> just just physical touch, please. Yeah, please. Yeah, no, 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 just a single, just one thing. Not even having to like fucking, you know, you don't even have to touch just like our cells just need to like bump into each other or some shit like that. How, how do you, you know, like, dude. I you know it's whatever though that's whatever. <laughs> Over here, make a big deal. No, nah, it's it's whatever though. You know, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I you know, crave human it's... touch, but you know, to survive. But you know, don't don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, but you know, it's it, you know, like I I just think. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I I screwed up something on my. You know what? Shh. I'm I'm not gonna talk about it. Shh, everything's okay. Anyways, how has your day been? <laughs> <laughs> my 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 day's been good. Uh, I had it's been a busy day at work more or less, and uh, the World Series is going on. Game four. I'm trying to root for my boys in light or uh, brighter blue. Uh, oh my, yeah. 
well, my home team of the Dodgers. And uh, oh, and now I get to stream so and get to meet, talk with you. So it's a nice, it's a nice day so far. Uh, but nice. Yeah. Yeah, and also shout out to those in chat. Wallet, the two goats. Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Wallet and Wallet. Oh, wallet. Hi, Wallet. Oh, yeah. There you go. Wallet. Wallet's a Wallet's a great dude. Uh, Shugo, good job on third, despite first and second being up. Apparently, <laughs> and uh, Ali, oh, hello, hello, McDonald had a farm. AI, AI, yo, night hell, hello, thank you for the lurk. Appreciate oh, hi, it. night. What yeah. a what a great what a great reunion <laughs> for sure for sure. But yeah, I, I've been doing all right. It's a Tuesday, which is you know I'm usually, mm. which is like my second day. Of the week when I usually podcast, I usually podcast on Wednesdays, but you know, Tuesdays, Thursdays are like the next common. So I it's see. a it's a nice little change of pace for me, and I'm like, yeah, and yeah. So maybe right. consider doing more podcast episodes on Tuesdays. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no? I do, I do. It's like, hey, you can't make it on Wednesday. How about Tuesday? <laughs> they're like, yeah. oh, oh, they're like, True. really? Maybe and I'm like, it's yes. a more auspicious day. You know, you should do like you could like test it out. Just go like, oh, you know, do a couple of podcast episodes on Tuesday versus Wednesday, and then see which of the vibes work out better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta man. analyze it, right? And then, I and then you could be like, oh, yes. Ah uh, yes, the vibes check out more on Tuesday than the, Thursday or whatever. Yeah, dude, club going up on a Tuesday, as they say. So, <laughs> I feel like the the vibes are definitely up. But then again, I haven't podcasted in like a month, so it's okay. We'll 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 keep we'll we'll do something like that in like twenty twenty five. We'll mm. we'll we'll monitor the vibes on on the days. Wallet, yeah. good job on second, even though first is also still up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how are how are you, buddy? I mean, I've yeah. been doing pretty good. Um, I am actually currently still um in university, and I'm doing uh coursework right now, so that's why I haven't been streaming. Otherwise, I would be, and I've been kind of holding it above my head, like, okay, bunny, you can finish. You could as soon as you finish, you could go stream, and you could go play Baldur's Gate or League of Legends or whatever you want. And I'm like. Okay, brain, let's do this. And then I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> that's, just, that's just where it stops. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Just brain empty. It's just ah. God just, damn ah. it! You know, it's like it's like oh yes, <laughs> I must take the first step. And it's like. <laughs> so I'm still I'm still in I'm still being held hostage by my own brain but once i figure that out i'm gonna go go play some games again very, very nice very nice yeah yeah so i yeah so, okay so you're you go to you go to uni that's a thing mm -hmm. you have classwork mm -hmm. and stuff but mm. yeah and you have you already mentioned juggling that with like maybe not even streaming but just games in general so for mm. you Obviously, I feel like student comes first, but when it comes to gaming and streaming, do you prioritize one over the other in your free time? Or because uh, obviously you can do both at the same time, but you know, there's some people who, who are like, oh, I'd rather stream just to chill with the community and chat versus, oh, I just want a game. I don't want to stream today because I don't want to interact with chat type of thing. So. I think for the most part, I don't really think about that so much as. I will play a game and then maybe I'll be like, oh yeah, I should probably stream it and then start streaming it. Um, there are times like, um, like, for example, there are games that I only stream, like that I only play when I'm streaming and that is ranked League of Legends. <laughs> That's the only, that's the only <laughs> that game. That is the only thing I use for exclusively as streams. Because I don't know, who knows? Maybe like I can look back on the vods and uh -huh. you know review it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe that would work <laughs> out. Who knows? Something like that, right? Right. Or, or right. But also, um, uh, I also do like playing League of Legends with um a lot of people and like meeting new people through there. So mm -hmm. that's actually kind of how I got my start because I was I don't like playing League of Legends by myself. I think that is a miserable experience. 
That is an experience worse than sitting in a restaurant all by yourself on Valentine's Day. Like oh, that is oh, like a oh, truly oh. even more isolating experience. I and, was going to so mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, you were about to say. I was like I was like, "Oh, eating alone in a restaurant isn't that bad." And then you said on Valentine's Day. I went, "Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad." <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like oh. it's even worse, right? Or you know, and so I I was like, "You know what? I I'm going to play and I'm going to I'm going to play and I'm going to look for people to play." So I would open up I would just play like open lobbies. And I would only really play ARAMs, but then I started playing ranked because people said that they wanted to see me play rank, and it was not good. It was not good. Um, it was, it was a psychological experience. It truly was. It felt like a metamorphosis on my own brain that happened. Um, for the better or for the worse. <laughs> Well, who's to say? Because <laughs> it's League of Legends. That's we'll why. That's now, why I want right? to know. <laughs> I can't. Have... Yeah. No. It truly. So I guess I need to explain. I think I played my placements, mm -hmm. and then on my first stream, I like my placements ended me at like Iron One. Okay. You know, and I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, I can climb out, right? And then the first day. I streamed. Mm -hmm. I was like, "All right, let's try getting out of iron, and then maybe just seeing how how far we can climb upwards." Right. Mm -hmm. By the end of that stream, I was in iron four. Oh no! In one stream, one day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was bad. No. I I I hit. I hit rock bottom. Iron four zero LP. It was a nineteen loss win. Like I was about to say, nineteen loss win streak. No, it was a like nineteen loss streak. Ooh. And it, genuinely, it wasn't like that. The first like nine games, right? I played like Nico, and mm -hmm. cause I okay. So I originally I am a support main, right? Okay. But I was told, right? I was like, you know, so. Climbing as a support really sucks. You should try playing a different role. What is a different role? Like a good role. And people were like, play mid lane. I'm like, okay, what champion should I play? And I started off with Nico because I, I don't even know. I just, just I like Nico. I think she's neat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think she's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, right, my um, older brother looked at me, my, my, my 19 loss streak and then was oh. like you need to play a different champion you need to play a champion that can carry and like a classic carry champion he like played like since like season three or something like that right he was like okay. play ari and i was like okay and i like learned ari kind of uh -huh. and you know i i never left i <laughs> Oh, no. And then I switched, and then they were like, somebody was like, dude, your CSing sucks. Switch to Annie. And then I was like, okay. And I played Annie, right? Okay. And then they were like, dude, your CSing still sucks. Play <laughs> Malzahar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And, and I played Malzahar, and I, um, uh, I mean, I only really climbed out. Thanks to to people feeling sorry enough for me online <laughs> to be like, I will personally push you out of this. Please just leave. I think you've <laughs> suffered enough. <laughs> oh no, buddy. May maybe one of the, maybe not one of these days, but soon enough, maybe I'll try and drag you out there as well. Because <laughs> I don't yeah, have a, no, I don't no, have a no. Smurf account. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's good now. I finally, I am in bronze four. Right? Hey, I finally escaped iron right it was mm -hmm. truly a long because there it was a funny thing right i made a stream that i typed <laughs> i i wrote i titled my stream this stream will not end until i leave iron and uh -huh. then it ended up being a 34 and a half hour stream <laughs> it's and a... i didn't even leave iron at the end of that oh where did it end i think yeah, no, I I ended up in Iron Three. <laughs> oh no, buddy! Oh, I like no. was like Iron Four Zero LP, and then I was like Iron Three, like 
10 LP or something like that. It was, you know, it, it, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was truly an experience. And here's the thing. It was like mm -hmm. straight up. I think I, it was just league in every, for like the entire game. Mm -hmm. I just auto queued like some kind of spirit took over me like some vengeful ghost i just kept playing play again and queuing up and at, at like no thought head empty i didn't even look at damage i was just like all right next game and every, at some point i started to feel like my back was hurting from playing the game so i had oh to my stand up goodness. in between matches to just like do like stretches as you just should so that i wouldn't feel like yeah like the circulation leaving my arm because like um i didn't realize how much you end up clicking when you play league of legends mm -hmm. like you know uh like like my pointer finger, my right hand was like trembling by the end of like when I went to sleep. That oh I don't know my that god! <laughs> like, I don't even remember. Like I at some point I remember I like at some point I started accepting duos because 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 it was originally gonna be a solo thing, right? Because mm -hmm. solo queue, that's the rank thing, that's the purpose. Right. So I felt like I had to, right? But then mm -hmm. I accepted help later on. And honestly, I feel like solo queue and duo queue are completely two separate experiences. They're like a different game. <laughs> I, I'm going to be real. The queues, the, the queues are insanely different. Like time, I, like because of like the players that you're playing with and like yeah, whoever's playing with you? Yeah, like the, the, the player base of those games the quality of them improves like exponentially i don't know what about it of like maybe two human people being like queuing together so they're like okay well we know they're human so pair them up with like the other humans but i swear <laughs> i swear oh my gosh like, what? there is a bot in like every single solo queue there was or like at least people who were tr purposefully trying to int because there was just no other explanation as to mm, how we are losing mm. so badly right right and here's the thing when you're like in the depths right long enough uh -huh. you kind of can tell what kind of player they are right right when you're going up against a person uh -huh. right in a game you could t kind of tell like oh this person is inting right or oh this person is like there's just a pattern of behavior of at some point i would be like oh wait no this guy this guy is they're gener they're like genuinely deranking uh, right or like see, oh yeah no this is a bot neon can't tell <laughs> like, when up, this is a bot <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i feel like that's that's also an experience sometimes hot and out and effort my friend ali in chat um true uh eating by yourself rigus is the, from earlier from eating by yourself it's not true self-love is number one no shame eating by yourself unless you feel shame that's true that's true but it's like specifically on valentine's day like are you trying to make a statement eating or are you just hungry in a restaurant on valentine's day specifically on valentine's of crippling loneliness and solitary like solitude that can never really be described right and that's the for some feeling, yeah that's how it feels to play solo queue or just league of legends by yourself <laughs> <laughs> that 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 is a, a good equivalent um so i have ever how does someone need help with ranked not in the same way you would normally think how and I can't tell when when you're inting. Uh, you're right. For, for on the other side of the trenches, you know, even at higher, it's like sometimes you can't tell if someone's inting or they're actually trying, and it just looks really bad. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, there are times though when you're like, oh, I can tell that you're not inting. You're just bad at the game. Yeah, that yeah. Is there's a also difference. Also, something you can tell. You could tell. You can tell. And honestly, I look at that player with sympathy, but also great disdain. <laughs> oh, while it has fun. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so well, let's ask some questions about your League of Legends background. Okay, now oh, we got, okay. we got, we got to, got, got to delve into, delve into it a little bit. Mm. Delusion is is also a mindset. True, Delulu is a mindset. Uh, mm. Okay, okay, buddy. So, how long have mm -hmm. you been playing League? What season did you start? So, I actually okay. So, 
growing I started when the Jinx music video came out. Oh, so that's like season, season that is. That's like season four or five? Four or five? Yeah. I came out uh, like I came like I got introduced to my to League of Legends through my older brother who would take me to the PC cafe. Mm-hmm. Like we would pretend that we would go on walks and we would sprint to the PC cafe, right? Play for an hour and then run back home. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my introduction to League of Legends. And yeah. I was like mm-hmm. like I was very young at that time. I was like 11 or 12 years old at that time, right? Yeah. And, and going uh, to PC I don't cafes, know. That's pretty cool yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh we like you know uh League at that time, right? Was was different, right? Like my favorite character was Soraka. Because her Q hit up to twelve targets, right? Had like oh, a one yeah, the, I, cast time. I remember that. Right? I abused that. I abused that also. Yeah, you know, right? And you could just Q Q Q Q, and then right. So I too was a child, right? I was a child too. I was a child, and I was scared of people. So I would only play bot versus AI, like versus AI. Okay. Mode. <laughs> mm-hmm. So for the first like probably six years of me playing League, I only played bot versus Dang, AI. Six years? That's a long time. And you're That's saying, a real it's not long even time. I tried to play the other game modes like Twisted Tree Line. I tried to play Dominion, right? But it's virtually at that time the AI were so bad, it was virtually impossible to play Dominion or or uh Twisted Tree Line in co-op versus AI. That's true. They were bad. I remember that. Yeah, so I would only play Summoner's Rift bot versus For six years? Until, like, what, ARAM came out? (laughs) And ARAM came out, what, like, season (laughs) five also, I think. Here's the thing, though. I was too scared to play ARAM because I didn't. The I played. I played. Uh, I played with humans. Like my first Summoner's Rift with humans. Like only one time, right? Somebody told me to kill myself, and then I switched back. To oh, no. AI. oh no! Oh no! I was like, I think I was like thirteen or something at that time. Right, so I was I was a wee child, you know. I was such a tiny tot, you know, kind of. So understand. And yeah, so I actually like actually um, got into the game when I <laughs> moved to uh, when I moved, mm-hmm. right? And I in like 2017 or something like that, I downloaded League of Legends. I remember this. My laptop is so old is a 2014 MacBook Air. Yeah, and um, you're playing on a MacBook of all things too. <laughs> I walk I go into <laughs> I walk to the library, right? Okay. League of, and I start to download League of Legends for MacBook. Okay. It is downloading in the rate of bytes. Oh. It is taking hours to download. And I finally get it, right? I finally download it, and I was finally able to play my first game of League of Legends, Mm -hmm. and I was playing it, like, 300 ping, and so I couldn't play the game. Oh, you you were on a mission, like, that, that, a mission that started in 2013, 2014, that did not leave your spirit for four years, three to four years, which compelled you to get an older laptop, MacBook, by the way, which was already in itself, already old. I mean, to be fair, at that time when I got it, it was pretty new. Okay, okay. okay. So, yeah, new, relatively new, but also in the terms of tech age, relatively old. Yeah, to be playing I, I... League of Legends, and you had the patience to wait how many hours to download was... a library <laughs> in a library? 
<laughs> yeah, no. It's just now, here's the thing, too. I walked. Like, our public transport is so shit. It took me, like, 30 minutes just to get to the library. Right? I can excuse that. I can excuse that. But, like, you could you, you could you not download it at home or, like, a friend's no! house? We didn't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> I just wanted to play League, okay? Or at least make my Riot account just so that I could have my username, right? And okay. I could, like, have it set, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and... so you did all that. Okay. Yeah, and actually, you know, this is kind of a interesting tangent. I remember when I first was wanting to VTube, I was like, should I make a fresh account, like, completely? Or should I just change my current account into the like the into my new one i like had to think about it because like i and i i decided to keep it because i had so much history with that account i kind of got attached you mm. know and i guess you know i i feel like you know there's just it, i didn't have that many skins at that time either so it wouldn't have made a big deal if i transferred but like i i still kept it because you know it does have like 2017 on like started on 2017 so it's kind of a flex right you're like sure I, sure sure you know yeah it's, i'm i'm I, I played this game for a while kind of and um um this my first account though is actually was at that time region locked because it was a southeast asian server account the one that i made when i was like a child okay so yeah, during that time, I don't know if you were aware, but like the Southeast Asian servers were run by a third party company. Oh, yeah, the Garena, Garena League. Yeah, the Garena yeah, League. Yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah. I, 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 hey, I've been playing League longer than you. Let's, let's, get, let's get this straight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember yeah. those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they finally merged, I was like, oh my God, I could finally get my old account, right? And I finally have it transferred over. And it feels like I'm like, oh my God, I, I collected it, you know? And I do, I log into it because I do only have, like, I do have a couple of skins that I bought with my own money, with my allowance at that time. Uh -huh. Like, we would go to, we would go to 7-Eleven to specifically exchange it for the Garena points so we could <laughs> switch it over to Riot points so we could get skins. And they would, like, put the skins on sale, right? And we were kids, so we were like, oh my god, it's on sale. We have to buy it now, you know? Mm -hmm. Right, and, right. Uh, yeah, so I I have a spe special place in my heart for uh, dried Soraka and Gucci and Sona. <laughs> oh, man. The, uh, the I, OGs, dude. The OGs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, and like in, qu in current quality, they're not good skins. But, you know, it was like, it's like a... Oh, like be, nostalgia thing. Of course, of course. Very, very few skins have gotten the treatment that they deserve for the old skins. Like they'll update the splash art, but they still don't look as good in game. Oh like, yeah, no. Like I have a couple oh. of those skins as well. So, under it's I get it, I get. It. And wallet says in chat, it's like, oh, bunny, you're so real for that. I did the same thing when I first started playing. I don't like with playing with bots. I me too. But then because it's my okay so I'll, I'll 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 go into my league origin story in a little bit yeah so for you so you have your original account and your new account right so you have two mm -hmm. accounts okay i have cool. two accounts okay okay so then when you when you got your 2017 account and you started vtubing it sounds like the the you didn't go by the same name as you go by now from yeah. if i understand that yeah is, is that is that information not to be disclosed or i mean it's not like i i like don't it's just more for the fact that like i didn't know if people in my friends list would be like you know would be like who the fuck is this right right right, right. Okay. because i do have irl people in my friends list right and that was part of the reason why i was like oh maybe i should make a new account right uh, yeah, but that then makes i sense. thought about it a bit more and i was like well, like, I haven't talked to them in years, so maybe they would think that I'm just some rando on the internet, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that's what happened. And for the for the most part, yeah, it worked out. I I I played with uh one of my 3D friends. I I I, I like early when I was first of YouTubing and I added him to my my party mm -hmm. and then he was like, 
I'm so, I don't know who you are, Bunny. By the way, I I don't remember. Lol. And I'm like, that's great. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> So it works out, you know. Right. Just okay. casually become a different person. Yeah, that that happens. I know when some people do. I wouldn't say make a new account, but they just change your name, and I don't have a note. I'm like, who the hell are you? <laughs> mm. I've had that happen with an IRL friend. He changed his name, but he didn't log on for like two years, and he's like, "Hey, can I play with you?" I went, "Who are you?" <laughs> he went, yeah. "It's this person." I went. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, dude, come play with us. <laughs> I'm like, dude, what the heck? You haven't logged on in like years. He goes, I know. I wanted to play for some reason. I'm like, yeah, get in here. So we got to I got to play the game with him. I'm like, yeah, it's good it's good playing with you again. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, but mm -hmm, go ahead. Yeah. No, I was about to say, like, I I that's how I ever I normally add like notes to, uh on my friends list now where I like put a note on what their username is just in case they change it me too in the me future. too me too the note was actually huge for me yeah. <laughs> when they released it huge so. game changer no i feel like it's underutilized more people should do it okay so that means you... a PSA. <laughs> they should they should um i know okay so you've been playing and then you changed your name right you oh yeah you changed your name so mm. um so that was the timeline for that. So you've been 2017. Yeah. When did you start having better internet to play League of Legends and actually start enjoying the game more? <laughs> so like, I feel like there's a big gap, right? Because there's a big gap between 2017 and then you VTubing. That is seven years, maybe eight years, because we're coming at the end of 2014, right? There's a, there's a big gap here because you started in 2013, 14. <laughs> Four years. Okay, so seventeen. We're we're at seventeen. What happened? Where's next? What's the big next big jump? So I built my first PC in twenty eighteen. Okay. Did you have yeah. internet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had internet. Okay. Twenty eighteen. PC for a while. It were it worked for for from like twenty eighteen all the way to like like last year. Okay, not bad. Around that time, yeah. So, um. You know, and it worked out. I, um, I think the reason why I wanted to upgrade my PC was because, uh, I was employed at that time. And mm -hmm. I was like, I could spend money on things now. I have enough money. And I decided to use my power as an employed individual to, um, uh, contribute to the capitalism. Of course, you, know? you are a contributing and... member of society as you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got a really, really nice PC. It is my greatest treasure. It's probably the the most expensive thing that I own. Mm hmm. <laughs> but 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 uh, because of that too, it kickstarted me wanting to like play the game and uh. Like, you know, actually play more games. Right. Because at that time, like, from, like, 2018, from I normally only played uh, ARAMs with my friends, like, as five stacks. Uh -huh. And apart from that, I had no interest in playing the game. Because I was an avid world's watcher. Uh, I was, like, the... I was the casual world's watcher until, uh, until the pandemic. <laughs> and mm. I had way too much time. <laughs> and and then and then you know uh yeah yeah uh, so around around that time yeah uh, uh -huh. i never really like actually decided to learn like the fundamentals and stuff until like i started streaming i guess because that's when i actually played ranked because i felt like me playing ranked was like enjoyment for the masses you know <laughs> i don't enjoy it but people enjoy watching me play for some reason. Yes, that and tends to I happen. And I do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so and that... Mm -hmm. Also, I need help, right? <laughs> I can put <laughs> rank. I, could, I stream my rank. I'm like, help me. Please. Save me. Somebody, somebody, can you explain what's going on? <laughs> All right. Guess, guess if you need a coach, Bunny, I will... <laughs> 
I will slowly coach you to victory. Yeah. No, I mean, I and it's like also like I could also just meet more people too if I if I want to when because again I was playing I think I started playing just A Rams I was looking for people to play A Rams with uh -huh. so that's why I started streaming. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's a, that's a cool reason why. Yeah, yeah. Um, at that time too, like I didn't want to stream like uh like faceless i um was really contemplating either just doing faceless but i was worried that i would not have anybody watching because mm -hmm. you know especially when you're starting out as a streamer mm -hmm. uh, like being able to grab somebody's attention from the get-go is really important and not a lot of people would be entertained to click through just a, a league of legends screen too right and i didn't want to show my face I, it's not like I have anything opposed to that, but I realized that being a, like, using your face, you want to always present yourself the best, right? And, and sometimes, sometimes it's <laughs> sometimes. a pain in the ass. I get, I, I, I do have some friends that did feel like that. Um, yeah. And I'm over here, like, as a guy, I'm just like, oh. I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but also just in general for for female, uh, for like you know, especially if you're like a woman on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot higher standard for what people want in like appearance wise, right? Of and what there's like, so like I was like, you know what, you know what, I was scrolling through Etsy. Uh -huh. I have money now. Oh no! You know, and these things are pretty cute. Oh no! <laughs> the capitalism kicked in guys yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, so, so i decided again to throw my contributions to society of course right, right and i got i got i had a lot of fun so actually like my history with vtubing too was i originally played vtube studio as like a dress-up game for me oh okay like I, there's a lot of free models that you could get lying around, right? A lot of people have, like, uh, a lot of people make their own models and then, like, let people use it for free. And you could just play around with them. Yeah, and you could just play around with, like, the colors and stuff. And I had so much fun. I was, you know, this was my dress-up game. You know, we don't have... <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, some people had, like, I don't know, growing up, there was girlsgogame.com, right? Like, you know, I I didn't ha We, you know, growing up, I had Barbies. Like, I, as a as a full, full person now, I, I was looking so at me. Full person. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a that's a that's a cluster of words put together for sure uh okay uh, so okay then he threw money at the problem yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah so that's that's how i that's how i began um vtubing i was like you know what you know what maybe i could put to use mm -hmm. two hobbies and smash them together that's smart. and then that's, that's what smart. happened Okay, so what yeah. what when when did that start? Like the streaming decision. When did that start? Um, because because the reason why I ask is because VTubering blew up in 2020 because mm -hmm. it was like a perfect storm of people being at home, and mm. and the pandemic, and then people being on the internet, and then just Hollow Live exploded, Niji exploded, ever VTubing, and now it's over obviously oversaturated. But when did mm. Because again, there's like there's there's that big gap between 18, 2018 and twenty twenty. So I don't like, but I don't I don't assume that's when you started. So when did you start or make that decision to stream? Think April of what? Like this, this year. year? Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, you're you're you're. You really fresh. Well, I don't say really fresh to the scene. You're new to the scene. I mean, you're you're, you're yeah, within like twelve April months. Thirtieth was my first ever stream. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! Well, look yeah. at that. Wow. It's I wouldn't say it's rare for me to meet someone that has been streaming or slash VTubing for less than twelve months. I wouldn't say because I feel because I'm always meeting people through other people. And I just assume oh, you guys mm. know each other for a long time enough, right? Um. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, a, I just popped in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I truly walked in a re like a reservation filled buffet table. And I would I like buffet restaurant and I just bought a ticket and I was like, Hi guys. I well, I'm I'm here to eat at the buffet too. Well, nice. Well, welcome. They're, they're, it's all they're always open here at the VTuber buffet. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, exactly. Not like I'm here to like be your host or anything. I'm just, you know, another dude at a table. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, actually, yeah. I was I wasn't really planning to stream a lot. I was planning to just kind of stream. Mm. It just so happened that uh I just got a lot of free time at a lot of time a lot of free time okay. that i decided to stream and then there was actually like somebody in my in my uh chat named lelouch was like if you hit affiliate in a month i will give you 100 dollars worth of rp oh like rp <laughs> not that the capitalism kicks in once again <laughs> <laughs> so i did it i actually did it and then i just kind of got used to streaming a lot because oh, okay. um yeah i you know it, it was uh it was a really fun uh, you know it the payment happened in quarter quarter payments you know so at some point i got 100 rp it did it it was beautiful it was fun i loved it and then I did my ranked, uh, I think. Mm, okay. As, so as celebration. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I have a few I have a few questions to go off of that. Yes. So you started streaming in April. Yeah. Yeah. How it only took you a month to hit affiliate? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then after that, so that was like May. When what when was when did rank start? Like june i think i oh. i like i think i i'm i'm i i'm gonna be real fudged up with the dates it's all it's gonna be real fucky wucky up in here that's fine me... it's just like as, as long as i have a general timeline in my head it makes sense yeah don't worry okay so then now we're now we're at the end of october yeah quarter mm -hmm. payments how she definitely lost the bonus rp on the gifts so you lost about like what 15 to 25 bucks of extra rp because you didn't get the single payment but okay what okay did, well what, don't think about that okay but we're that that's beside the point what did you buy with said rp what skins did you get or items whatever whatever you spent i think i just bought the pass I think I just got the event passes. You got the battle passes? Okay. Yeah, like the battle passes. That's fair. You get a okay. decent amount of stuff from that. That's fair. I've never yeah. bought I've never bought a, uh, one of the passes, but it, 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 they they do give you some decent amount of stuff. Yeah, no, you could you could uh what's it called? Oh, speaking of which, I hope it hasn't expired yet cuz I haven't I haven't spent my RP yet. I I I I, I but uh I bought the battle I had enough to buy the battle pass for for this this worlds too. Mm, um mm, mm. so you know it, it carried over it lasted quite a while um and um the decision to spend more money on this game is ever ever a looming possibility okay so so you still you still have it in the bank you still got the rp available in your in your Some league it, wallet. yeah okay I think so it's all gone it's all gone now but you know it lasted me quite a while you made it last um, yeah that's what's that's yeah. what's important okay that's pretty good that's pretty good all right so this is this is great because this transitions into because because i was like oh we're going with timeline stuff already because you're explaining league so Okay, so then you got into VTuber. We're gonna rewind just a little bit, right? You <laughs> yes. grew. I would assume you grew up on the internet, like I said. You watched worlds and all that stuff. But what out of like? So you said you wanted to get a streaming to make friends because of playing ARAM. But for VTubing and essaying, was it like, oh, did you just happen to find like a model or an avatar you want to use and not realize it was VTubing, or did you know what VTubing was before you got into it? Oh yeah, I I knew what VTubing was in like uh in like a like a oh oh this is like um this is basically just kind of like a what's it called like a mech you're like a <laughs> mech fighter pilot you know you go into the Eva suit 
that, that go that, into the suit shinji right yeah, yeah and get it just... get, get into the vtuber shinji <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> and, and I was, you know, and I honestly think that the face tracking stuff is really fun mm -hmm. to play around with. Okay. And I actually was more, I was a fan of like the live 2D stuff. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and I got into uh, la like VTubing because I was, I, I really liked um, like, the the model arts mm, okay. i like the model arts and then i saw like there were a lot of like vtubers and i'm like oh that's cool that's cool you know i i like i like you know i'm i feel like that is also a little bit uh different is i'm i'm a little bit i i didn't go knowing knowing people i don't mm. really know people i don't really know the communities or really any of the cultural background of it because i at the end of the day i think that it's just a really cool cool uh like kind of like a game yeah of course hey that's that's a good way of approaching it don't feel pressured to like <laughs> do what everyone else is like what the quote-unquote norm may be it's it's all a social construct buddy don't worry about it yeah Okay, yeah. so, so so does that mean you don't have like an Oshi or anything? You don't like have anyone that you like stand? I guess that's another word if you're not familiar with the terms at all. I, just, or you just showed up as a VTuber. I really like, I really like Pekora. Pekora. Oh, nice. I actually also was, uh, okay, you know when Myth debuted? Yes. I was... I was swept by the entire Hollow Myth. Mm, very nice. I I remember there was like um, there was um the debuts like the watch alongs or something like that, uh -huh. and there were a bunch of clips, right? And there were a bunch of clips from that, and I just kept getting VTuber clips, mm -hmm. and I yep. was like, oh, God damn it, they're kind of cute. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's exact. That's how I got into the hole too. So mine wasn't exactly debut. Mine was probably like a month or two after they debuted. I'm like, VTubers, yada yada. Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna go fall into this hole. This is such a fad, yada yada. I watched like I I watched like a Gura clip, and I go, okay, that was pretty funny. I enjoyed that. And watched more clips. I went, oh, this is this is pretty enter entertaining. Long story short, I'm I'm learning the uh, more about Hollow Myth, and I'm like, oh shit, they're pretty cool, they're pretty awesome. I realize, oh, yeah. there's JP branches, and I'm like, oh okay. So then that uh, it was like Gura to Myth to Kiara, who collabed with Marine, uh, who introduced me to Third Gen, who introduced me to the rest of JP, and and then Myth did a collab with Fifth Gen, and I went oh, okay. Fifth Gen's pretty cool. And then I'm like, I learned, and then it was all over. Uh, it, but in that very first night, talking about that Gura clip, right? I mm. I was like, hey, hey, my, one of my me and my friends have a group chat. Uh, my my best friends. I was like, hey, this is pretty funny. He goes, oh yeah, this is pretty good because he was also he was also barely getting into the VTuber thing too, like maybe like a a week or two before me and i was like oh yeah mm -hmm. these are pretty funny and he goes i was like oh yeah and then you could see within about a two hour span if i if i ever looked up in our group chat during that that summer or whatever month it was spring um you could see me go down the rabbit hole in a matter of about three hours and i was hooked mm -hmm. and i never looked back <laughs> yeah i think my first like my first ever introduction to VTubing or like con the concept of VTubers I had was like very misleading at first because I thought when people, when I like, you know, Kizuna Ai, I don't know when she came out, like, like she came out like, like pre pandemic. Right, long like, time she went ago. Viral long time ago. Pre pandemic, right? Yeah. And when I first heard about her, it was through PewDiePie. And I was mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like his reaction to it made it seem like her entire streams were like like uh plot like scripted mm -hmm. out. So I thought, oh, this is weird, mm. ain't it? This is like a like they're they're like scripting this entire thing, and they're having somebody like man a like a anime girl puppet, and so I had like a very negative um like idea of what vtubing was 
And then mm-hmm. I saw like hollow myth like clips, especially like um like just like I I think the the thing that first like ever just kind of brain rot hit me was Gura just going like ah. Of and course, then of I'm course. Like, you know, and I that li- moment just lived. What the? F- oh, I'm Trey Kun. Thank you for the resub with Prime. Welcome back to the light show. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Could you hear like, that? Did my yeah, I, I, I heard that. I could, I didn't know if you could hear that or not. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, well, no. I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> good, good job, Prime. <laughs> <laughs> that no problem, uh, Dracoon. Thank you. Love you as always. Yeah. No, no, it's all good. I just, I just thought that like I had a like a horrified moment of like, <laughs> did I press something on my Spotify to make it play as something? Because I had that once at an imp- I went to an improv show once, and uh-huh. like my like my music at some point just went full blast in the middle of the show, and I like was struggling to like close it, and like ever since then, right, I can't listen to "Beautiful" by Jake ever again. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Because it just reminds me of the time it played, like, full blast in the middle of an improv theater for, like, a good 15 seconds. Ooh, like, that's completely rough, disrupting their their set. I, I, wa- I want it to... Oh, no. That feels bad. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it right now, and I wasn't even there. I'm just hearing yeah. a story about that one. Ooh. I mean, you know what? It was It was fine. I was drunk. Right, I was drunk, <laughs> so I didn't feel it as much. But like thinking back about it, ooh, 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 yeah, ooh, oh well. Uh, I mean, it, it happened. It was, it was, it was a time. Yeah. It was a thing. So don't worry about it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so okay, so you live record. You got into myth, the girl clips, the myth clips. Okay, mm. so then now let's get into your. You're VTubing, right? So you decided mm. to go on Etsy and find a model. Like it was like a pay to use model. Right? I have like a lot of models. Okay. So you have pay to use models. Is what you're yes. using right now a pay to use model? Cur- yes. Currently, uh, okay. it's a pay to use model. Um, but it has and... your branding on it and your coloring or no? Yeah. I, I fiddled around with the colors. And um, actually, if you could see, it kind of has changed over the streams because at that time, I didn't know how to save the colors on the model. So every time I opened VTube Studios, the oh colors my would be set. You would have to do it every time? Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, so like over time, it kind of changed. <laughs> Okay. So if you can see, I mean, like clips from my very first stream is a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just call that uh the, the when the sun it's, hits your air your hair and it just changed color. That's what that is. You know, you, no, no big deal. You could just no big think deal. Like yeah, you it just it just took a little bit. You, you it was cooking. It was cooking a little bit. <laughs> you know, but once I got it to save, I was like, yeah, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> okay, so then so you have multiple models. I know we, in the in the when we were talking, uh, just in our DMs, you were like, I have mm. was it six right? You have seven. Is it six or seven? Eight? Yeah. So, so I have currently, I have, I have eight that eight. I have. Okay. But only like five that I use Got on it. stream. Okay. Yeah. So then for you, I know you like, these are pay to use, but you have your own thing. Is what, what inspired you to pick maybe what you're using now or, or what you mm-hmm. like to use commonly for your branding? Cause it's like, you're, Sukino bunny, right? So obviously mm-hmm. bunny design, but then cat ears and a <laughs> tail that isn't definitely not a bunny the co- the little cotton tail bunny tails. So like what walk walk me through the the design choices or yeah. m- or ca- capitalist choices. <laughs> okay, so so when I first chose my name Mm-hmm. My name was originally not Sukino Bunny. It was actually Bunny Illusion, right? Bunny Lu- okay. Uh, so still Bunny, right? But right. the reason why was 
because it was the same username that I had for my 2016 DeviantArt. So I thought, oh, maybe if anybody on the internet from my DeviantArt days sees me, right, we can reconnect. Because at that time, right, my initial wanting for, for streaming, right, was to find people to play games on the internet again. Right. Right? So I went with my old uh, DeviantArt handle. And so far, nobody, nobody, I, I couldn't find anybody from my old DeviantArt days. Okay. But um, I changed it because people kept on, I, I, I kept on thinking about it. And mm -hmm. I was like, maybe not everybody needs to be linked to my Italia fanfics. <laughs> <laughs> oh the, the fan face. You know, yeah, so I I I you know I, I switched but also you know um you know I realized that you know I don't want to ha be similarly attached to, to that to the to the handle in the same way. Um but and I thought of Tsukino Bunny because it's a pun, right? Um Tsukino means uh, of the moon, right? Tsukino belonging to moon, mm -hmm. and then bunny. So it is like literally bunny of the moon, and is a bunny that lives on the moon. And then by the time I already figured that out, uh -huh. I realized that my model is still. <laughs> what? My model is still. Um, not very much a bunny, right? Okay. Yeah, and that's when I came up with the brilliant idea of just having so much power that I just, I can't, I only, you know, this is only 25%. Riss Riss says, my power. Uh, it says, oh, so that's why you said I'd be nuking the moon. <laughs> mm. Yeah, mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because I think we should bring old Yumi back. That's the reason why. He said he was going to nuke me because cause I think we should bring old Yumi back. Let me, let's be real. I, I think oh. we need to bring her old, old, old things where her E sped you up and that speed up was AP scaling too. Right, and she healed a fuck ton, and she had the shield that you can pop and block on. Right, yeah, we just no, need to we need to bring it back. No, no, thank you. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. Thank no, thank See? you very much. No, and why is everyone booing me? No, I'm not <laughs> booing I... you. I'm just like you know. I I respect your opinion and your wants. Would I agree with you? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. no, no I, you know, mm. I can see why you, why people are, are, you know, unhappy about that. But, but if you just think about it a little bit more and open your heart. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. You, I was like, I, I don't think I need to think about it that much. Then you said, open my heart. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I, you're, you're you're preaching to the wrong, preaching to the wrong person. I'm sorry. I know. Like I yeah. respect it. Like I get it because I'm over here. Like yeah, I I don't know how. Like you said, you've been playing, but I don't know how you know competitive scene. I want like oh, yeah. a like OG Lucian back. You know what I mean? OG, oh. he's never coming back. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I yeah no. I dude, I still think I, we need to bring old Yumi and old Soraka back. Like old Soraka's <laughs> busted. Old Soraka. <laughs> okay, I'd I need her to give mana. I need her to give mana to people. I need her to to have a twelve hitting all casting Q that can shred can MR to go off. into a negative MR, which was yep. dumb. I look, look. I would rather they bring back old Soraka than they would. I would bring back old Yumi. Okay. okay, we can have an, a handshake agreement. Yeah. I, I, we bring back well, old okay. Soraka. Well, okay, I'm not saying bring back. I'm just saying I would rather. <laughs> if I had to pick no, no, one. No, 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 we no, are no, 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 no. Bunny, no. I'm just saying, if I had to pick the lesser of two evils, that's the lesser of the two evils. 
I see, I see. All right, all right. So, what about Old Scion? <laughs> old Scion, like before rework, um, he was okay. Or Old Mordekaiser alt. I would. Which I would one? The one with the dragon. <laughs> The one where he takes your dead body and makes. <laughs> yeah, that one was dumb. I yeah, I, I'm okay with not having that one. You know, again. you know, I really wonder why. I feel like League would profit for making like a League classic, like how World of Warcraft made like a World of War oh. Warcraft classic mode. They You're, should just do like. If you want to play season. on what what season, what patch you want to play on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I want to play on old Serac. You know what? That would probably make a lot of people happy, but I don't know how many people would actually play on it. I, I don't think it would work at all, but it's a great thought experiment. Right? Yeah, there's there's no way that it would work, especially infrastructurally, because everyone's trying mm. to play on a specific busted patch. Mm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's not a terrible idea. You know, when if Riot ever got their shit together, uh, yeah, which is I'm still waiting for the Riot MMO. Yeah, that's mm, mm, yeah, have fun. <laughs> I'm holding out hope. Or, I'm glad you can hold I... out hope for that. I'm glad. I'm <laughs> you're very, you're a very optimistic person. <laughs> I don't mind waiting another 10 years. Oh, I knew you were gonna say that. No, oh god, <laughs> oh man, and man. Okay. You know, I mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so there's that. Okay. So then so you picked the name Sukino Bunny, right? So you got to pick the bunny of the moon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So then that doesn't explain the cat aspect. Like, did you just like the cat design? Um and twin tails or just the hair color? Like the the colors and the I... cat are really the two big things I'm looking at. I okay when I chose this hair, uh -huh. I I liked it solely because I was scrolling, I was like sliding through the other options, the other color options, and I just felt like I really liked the contrast of it, hmm. and okay. it Makes gives sense. it's giving me sour patch like watermelon <laughs> kid, you know, it's giving me like cinnamon apple jacks, very very tasty, very yummy, right. Okay. And, okay. Uh, I got the tail on later. I, 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 I have um, it, this model originally came with the tail, but um, it wasn't as uh articulated, so I got a better uh, a better tail. Um. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's actually a detachable tail. If I, I could, I, but I could cut off. The tail. That's. <laughs> I feel like that's something we shouldn't be saying out loud. Um, <laughs> I'm revealing all the curtains. There's no curtains left uncurtained. All right. <laughs> this is the secret of showbiz. You want to be a VTuber. This is what it takes. Of course. No, no, I get that. But, you know, if, if, we, <laughs> if we were big VTubers with people who would draw fan art, that's not something that people would say. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so it's cool now. But I'm just like, <laughs> out of context, if someone were, you know, that all, I'm not even going to get into it. But yeah. Um, that's that's okay. So then you just yeah. you just like the design and oh yeah yeah. So actually, I had only this one model, and I was planning on only using this one model. But then the artist that I was following released another model, uh -huh. and it was also super cute. Mm. So I just had to get it, you know. And then I was like, Am I ever gonna use them? How am I gonna use them? How can I implement them? I was like. I'll just introduce, I'm going to, like, my my power system. I'm like the Pokemon Zygarde. You know, um, in, in, in Pokemon, you have to collect him, and he has, like, little cells. And the more cells you collect him, you can unlock his forms. Okay. Right? So he has, like, a 25% form, he has a 50% form, and he has, like, a 100% form. Mm -hmm. Then he has a Giga form. And that's another one. But, and, like, a cell thing. But that is like me. There's 25% buddy. There's 50% buddy. <laughs> there's uh, my 100% form, too. Which, you, you and just, I, you know, mm -hmm. the, you goal, just, the goal, the mm goal. -hmm. Mm. 
The goal is to have all 100% forms. <laughs> you're, you're, what I'm hearing, I'll, what, the more you explain it, I'm over here like, are you a Dragon Ball character? <laughs> are you like yeah. a Dragon no. Ball villain? Like, are you like Frieza, <laughs> Cell, or Majin Buu? What is happening up the, in there? <laughs> the more power I collect, the, the better, the, the, the more transform I can unlock. Yeah, you're you definitely know? a Dragon Ball villain. <laughs> Uh yeah, yep. Goku. <laughs> this no, no, one. no, trust me. Trust me, I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> God. I, okay. I have simple dreams. Mm. I I truly the only thing I, I want is um let's see. Oh a good good food and uh the ability to take care of my cats. Mm, that's a that is a very yeah. simple life. All right, it's so, a very simple life. All right. Well, we'll slowly transition out of the VTuber stuff. As what's your favorite food? This this always uh, happens on like so many streams and podcasts. It always gets to the food topic, and then there's someone always in chat who's lurking, and then they get mad about someone's food take. <laughs> or me, I get heated. But yeah, go ahead. What's your favorite food? Oh my god! Personally, currently, I've been really into uh laksa i don't know if uh Ooh, yeah i know laksa. yeah yeah so i we can't have laksa where we are it's like uh where where i currently live right but my dad was able to like recreate it and it tastes very similar Ooh. and i was like oh yeah it feels like growing up because i grew up in southeast asia okay. then i moved and i'm in u.s but like being able to eat like that, uh, it feels like uh, like I was like, oh, I could taste. It reminds me. It reminds me nostalgia. It's mm -hmm. great. And also, I've been eating. Uh, there's like a flatbread that I've been eating these days, and the dough. I really love it when dough is like really chewy. Like mm -hmm. you know how like there's bread that you could like you chew into, and it has like a good crunch, but like is bite and doughy, like nice chew to it. Right, right, right. I, I love I love bread that's like that. <laughs> also, I, I mm -hmm. yeah, I have dude, I love I I I I like food, but <laughs> truly I I'm pretty unpicky as an eater. I don't know um I don't know how picky you were as a kid, but growing up I was I ate pretty much everything I was given. Okay, that's not like you're you're still picky now. When you're growing up, like, it, did you realize you're a picky eater? When was the real self realization that you were a picky eater? Like, no, I'm I'm not a picky eater. Oh, sorry, not a picky. Uh, eater. Growing sorry, up, I, I wasn't her. a picky eater either. Yeah. Okay, so okay, that's cool. That's cool. Sorry, <laughs> I misheard. I misheard. No, you're good. I I I I sometimes I have a hard time speaking sometimes too i'm worried that maybe my words don't come out um like as intended i don't know no you're good like, you're, you're you... doing yeah. you're doing pretty fine <laughs> all right great you're doing perfectly fine don't worry yeah growing up i used to speak with a lisp mm. i don't know if you yeah so um apparently like as i grew older like it kind of phased out but like there's there are moments <laughs> mm. Mm. where it slips back in sometimes which is understandable. I mean, it's, it's yeah. natural. Okay, so then, laksa. Oh man, I, I don't remember the last time I've had laksa. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, that sounds, right. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. So then, um, so you moved over from Southeast Asia to where you are now. Um, for you, was that like a big transition for growing up, or whatever age that may have been? Oh yeah, I was. What was it? I was. I was a kid. Um, child. <laughs> when I moved. Yeah, I was a kid. So like for me, growing up, it was pretty. Uh, what is it? I guess I was pretty spacey as a kid. You know. So I. I was mostly just vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I was very much vibes, but like not a lot of thoughts. And um, I could tell my mom was worried for me growing up as a kid. You, you could know? tell. <laughs> you had the you had a conscience. So at least... <laughs> yeah, I, I could tell my mom was worried about how I would turn out growing up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but 
Mm. I'm sorry, I was... I, I, I'm looking over. I, I, uh, I look over. My cat, um, is sleeping. Uh, okay. No problem. <laughs> Yeah, I heard, and I and he's snoring. So I I turned my head around to see, and no, he was just snoring. Knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> you have any pets? I do not. Uh, we had like you know a few fish and you know, like a bird, but you know it's nothing that lasted too terribly long. Um, but yeah, nothing nothing that would say. I see. That struck my heartstrings as a kid. I see. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, maybe I always thought about having a pet dog, but who knows? I'm over here just living my life, <laughs> being what I, I see. doing, what I do, traveling, trying to travel around, do game or something. I'm like, I don't know if a dog would be smart. Yeah, it is kind of hard to keep pets when you're traveling around. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. I, also, I also just have like so many other priorities. If I had a dog by myself and like my, my, my parents that I live with that are like are also kind of, once I, kind of old and they are kind of old um it's like you know i don't think it'd be too smart so mm. but yeah i mean if i were to have a pet i'd probably be a dog because i feel like dogs are just dogs are fun to have so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah growing up i had a lot of dogs like my dad would uh he he wanted us he had adopted like a dog mm -hmm. but uh for me, I was always, I guess I was, I never really thought about it, but, like, I was more of a cat person. Like, in our school, like, the school that I went to, right, uh, there was, like, an old cat that would just kind of wander around the, the playground for recess and stuff. And mm -hmm. you could pet the cat. The cat was very nice, very fat, very friendly. Very fat. <laughs> and then, so you would just be able to like pet the cat. And they were very nice, right? And then over time throughout, because I stayed in that same school for like like 10 years, right? It was okay. like a K through 12 school or something like that, right? Right. And like the, there were, and there ended up being like more, more cats. Of course, so naturally. So after school... Yeah, I was I was like enjoy I I I enjoy I enjoyed petting the the I was chilling more with the school cats, really. So uh, now that I I'm I'm again a full human, right? I can I have my own two cats, and honestly, mm -hmm. they are so therapeutic. Mm. They are like you know how people have like air diffusers, right, for their homes, uh -huh. right? My cats are like their own my fucking depression diffusers. That's like they good. they emit like anti depression rays like just by their purrs you know it's so beautiful they're they're truly peak specimens maybe maybe I should get a cat if it's anti depressing you know <laughs> yeah. that'd be great <laughs> yeah. and you know they're very chill my cats are very chill at least um uh one of them my other cat is less chill but they're currently both very chill they they like to sleep a lot um. Uh, I even have like a cat bed in mm -hmm. in front of me right now, like in my setup, just because my cats like to like hover around me, like orbit around me. Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They follow me around everywhere. Right. So they just like to vibe. So I put a bed. I used to have like a little like blanket, like a little felt blanket out mm -hmm. there. And uh, I finally upgraded to like a full bed and they, oh, they love nice. it. That's nice yeah. for them. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's that's awesome. So you've you've so you've had cats around you basically growing up your whole life. How long have you had your cats that you have now? Yeah, I got Jinx. Like, in oh, they're even named Jinx. <laughs> okay. No, he came like that. All right, I got oh, him. Oh, right. <laughs> he's like that. Was all it right, the name, name, or did, was it the name that drew you to that cat? So I actually went to a cat cafe question mark. It wasn't a cat. It's basically like a cat cafe, but there are no food. They don't sell food. You just pay money to go pet the cats. Uh -huh. And the cats are in the furniture and stuff. I, uh -huh. I wouldn't. Yeah, but they called themselves a cat cafe, right? Because there are like resident cats and like adoptable cats that they mm -hmm. like intermingled. And I, the reason why I decided to buy, like, buy a cat, adopt a cat from a, like, a cat cafe was because, like, number one, like, there's so many people interacting, right? 
like the cats are gonna be used to like a lot of like noise and stuff and then number two it's like they're gonna be more used to like being around other cats and then number three it's like you kind of know like the like the people who work at the cafe and stuff might know more about the cats right so you can right. ask about it right? right and so i go into the shelter right and i'm like hi i do you have any cats you know for adoption and then they were like yeah we have two we have this one this one's lucy and lucy was like a like a kitten and she was like really spicy she she was <laughs> so spicy okay yeah very spicy kitten and then she was like yeah we have two we have lucy this is lucy lucy goes <laughs> and then they're like and this one's jinx and jinx was like in the corner just kind of chilling on a couch like completely just zonked out like just sleeping in a <laughs> loaf and oh. i go up to him and i put my hand up to him and he sniffs it right mm -hmm. and then he gives a little lick and then like a headbutt and i'm like I want this one then. <laughs> easy choice, easy choice. Yeah, and then I picked him up the next day, and uh, we've been best buds ever since. Oh, you know? that's cute. Yeah, that's yeah he cute. Re really likes to. He fall like he again. He follows me around everywhere. He he likes to um, sleep on top of my head. Actually, on, on your head. Yeah, he likes to sleep on my head, and he likes to bite my hair. Like, it's really like you're just yeah. sitting there laying down just any time just on your head yeah and like gotta, if i'm on gotta the have pillow, like a strong neck dude when i'm on my pillow he likes to sleep like on my head like go on top of my head and just kind of like hover over me it is oh. weird if i try to pet him he doesn't like it <laughs> <laughs> if i'm like oh are you here to like are you here for pets and he's like nope nope <laughs> <laughs> so you know and then i'll wake up and he'll still be there so i'm just like i guess you know that's fine he's just hovering over mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know yeah and then i got my second cat chile and he's named chile like the country because apparently like the rest of his litter like the rest of his litter mm -hmm. was named after south american countries oh. and his was just chile <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and I asked my family, I'm like, do you want to change his name, right? It's like, because it's the name of a country, right? So, uh -huh. you know, I don't know how people feel about that, right? And I thought maybe, like, since Jinx, right, it would be a cute name to, like, make, like, a like, matching name, right? And then my dad just goes, no, nah, I, like, I like Chile. I'm like, what? Okay. And my mom's just like, yeah, your dad loves the Chile country. Mm. And I'm like... Okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> no con like just no context. Just, just no, yeah, he just yeah, he like, likes Chile. Yeah, no big no yeah, big deal. He no, likes Chile. Yeah, no, it was just the extra clarification, right? That it, my mom had to be like, no, specifically he likes the country Chile. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. yeah, so, he, he yeah, likes Chile. That's yeah, cool. so he's named Chile. He's named Chile. So we have Jinx and Chile. And uh Chile is uh a scoundrel he's he's, a scoundrel. he's, he's, <laughs> he's truly he's truly an a cat he he's definitely a cat but he is very <laughs> dog coated for some reason the, he, like like panting running around or yeah he he like will if you play with him for for like too much he will start panting like a dog and <laughs> uh he will play fetch. He loves to play fetch, actually. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's really, it was really kind of strange figuring that out. Because I was, I kind of assumed that he just didn't like it when we, when we threw the, <laughs> threw the toy out. And because he kept putting it back at the specific same spot. But my dad has ended up, you know, like, really taking a shine to it. Um... Because my dad originally was like a, I hate cats. Cats traumatize me. Dogs are way better than cats, you know. And then now he's like, I like your cat. Your cat. I. Or he's like, I actually, I still hate cats, but I hate cats. This, but this one's more like a dog. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this one's kind of like a dog. So it's, it's like acceptable. 
Yeah. Oh it, it's not even. He's just like, oh my god, your cats are so annoying. But also, <laughs> like, your cats were like meowing at me and begging me for food. And like, oh my god, but they're so annoying though. But like, at the, he's very tsundere about it. <laughs> I feel like that's a it's lot like, of parents getting their kids pets. You know, it's like I don't, I don't like this dog, and then yeah. along the way they become best friends for some reason, type of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very cute. much that situation. That's cute. That Your dad and Chile and Jigs. That's funny. Yeah. How facts you lo how loves dogs says he says in chat. So. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean I like dogs too. I I I feel like though our vibes are like the energy level is just way too high. Are you, I, I don't know. I feel like are dogs you a low just, energy person. Yeah, I'm a low energy person. I feel mm. like dogs need to jump a lot. They jump around a lot. Yeah, you just need to find a chill dog. I <laughs> my <laughs> friends have a chill dog, and it's just so funny. He just like he walks around a bit, finds a spot, and just loafs. <laughs> I see. Yeah, yeah. Like that's like why I vibe so much more with cats. Like my cat Jinx will sit on a piece of paper and sit in that piece of paper for like the entire day a piece of paper you know? it's not a spot it's just a sheet of paper no big deal yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> just anything like he fucking that's that's his entire day you know and and i i feel like i, I vibe with that a lot more i can't i can't handle i can't handle like doing like uh when i used to have a dog when i growing up we used to have a dog and mm -hmm. uh he was very 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 hyper Mm. Mm, i get you i get you okay. yeah how have i seen your dog i have not seen your dog maybe you did show it once but i remember like in a stream but anyways um that's pretty awesome so then you've had your cats for a long time and then you became said cat as well so there you there it is it, it went full circle no yeah it, <laughs> it, it, it happened you know i i honestly i think what happened so i ended up <sighs> I didn't know that how the toggles worked for this model because uh -huh. I didn't know how toggles worked because the only thing I ever had to worry about in VTube Studio was like customized model, right? And then just fiddle around with the shaders, right? I didn't have to stream sure. and shit, sure. right? So when I first used the model to stream, I would just unknowingly put all of these toggles on. And mm. one of the toggles was the cat ears. And I... <laughs> And it just stuck because again, if you look at my old, if you look at my old clips, there are no ears. So uh, unbeknownst it just to you, happened. yeah, uh, unbeknownst to you, toggling stuff, it was just like, oh, I guess I, I guess I have to use it now. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, it's very. It was a like I think at some point there was a toggle where my like where it was covering my mouth, and I didn't know for the longest ass time until somebody was like oh i didn't know you had this toggle and i'm like what toggle mm, mm. <laughs> you know but honestly that's it's like one of the it's one of the things that i've come to appreciate though when i look into like especially now when i look at other people's models like pre-made models and stuff because mm -hmm. i think it really shows the like it's like oh man a, like a the artist really cared about this <laughs> this project you know you could tell right, i I, right. I yeah right okay that's that's cool that's cool all right i mean I, the, your model is very nice by the way if i did if Thank i haven't you. said that so far very adorable uh very cute um so yeah that's 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 really awesome i i like hearing you you tell your stories but <laughs> oh that's great okay so then what for you you know you've you've started streaming this year you're a vtuber you have a handful if not two handfuls of models right mm. what's what, do you have any plans or goals or things you want to do as a streamer outside of league and baldur's gate um yeah actually i was looking into actually maybe cr like having my own model created Oh. And that process has been very, very long and like pretty arduous. I was like, that's why I was like excited to hear about your your you, what you were planning up because I was like, ha I can't believe like it's been. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's been i feel like i've i i've i there's so many things to plan or like think details that i never had to think about when like what i was planning my now that i'm planning my own model mm -hmm. versus when i was just kind of like like having fun like hee hee hoo hoo uh-huh okay <laughs> and mm -hmm. yeah there is also like i i there is also like the question of like am i gonna keep all of the other models that i have like as a toggle because you know um you know it's gonna be very different it's like a very different design and like oh. i'm kind of there's like uh there's it's like i wonder about that you know well, I get you. I but, get you. It's like it's like. Do you want to hold on to it? Do you want to go for the re full rebrand type of situation? I get you. Yeah, yeah. So, like, let's say for details, like, what what were some things that you would want to ask me then? Because I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say I have experience. I've been streaming for a well, relative to you, a much longer time. But mm. I wouldn't say I've been in the VTube space. I don't have that much VTube experience type of thing. Um. So, oh, I didn't talk about that for like my context, right? Um, when I got into, I got watching VTubers in 2020, right? And then, but I was, I was streaming since 2017, 2018, um, mm -hmm. more or less on and off, but my internet wasn't good until I finally upgraded my internet and then I could stream some more, stream a lot more, mm. um, and podcasts and all that good stuff. That's why I like podcasts been going for a long time. Um, mm. and then when it came to it, it was always joking around that my friends were like, oh, you're big into VTubers now, especially Hololive and all these other people too that weren't Hololive, that my friends would be like, you're a streamer. When are you going to be a VTuber? I'm like, I'm not going to be a VTuber, dude. Like, that's expensive and all that stuff. So then what happened was I found like, oh, you can, I, my other friend who was a streamer, just casually streamer, mm. um, I introduced him into the, the rabbit hole that was VTubers because he didn't know what VTubers were. And yeah. then he went down the hole and then made his own model. I'm like, oh, is that easy? He went, yeah, sort of is. I went, okay, I guess I'll be a VTuber. Um, and yeah, I became a VTuber like late 2021, 22-ish. Um, I can't remember when I switched over. Because it's not like I had a debut or anything. I'm just, I just started using it as an avatar. Um, but now I'm just like, okay, I throw some... I, I'm an, I'm still an adult. You know, I have, I have expendable... No, that's not the right word. Uh, dispen no, you dis dispensable. No, you're contributing. You're contributing to society. Yeah, with, you're contributing you to the capitalism. Okay. Yeah, capitalism. I, you know, I, I got money. Time to give use some yeah, you said can, money. You, yeah, you can. You can use it to contribute. <laughs> exactly. So then I can, I go ahead and, uh, you know, similar to you, I found someone on Etsy. I was like, oh, I like their designs. I like their model. It was a good deal. So I decided to get that, and I got a, and a, and a two point oh. Adult Nero is crazy. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit, Mitch. It It is kind of like, it's always super interesting because you get to choose your design, right? So like, what is the, what oh. was like your inspiration? Oh, we're getting a raid. Oh, you can oh hear that. Can't you? Oh, wait. Okay. I hear that too. But that wasn't, that wasn't my. <laughs> <laughs> Here come the raider. Hello, hello. League addicted degenerate. It's Kyo. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi, Kyo. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Bless you? Question mark? Was that a. <laughs> I was like, was that a sneeze or are you spitting on chat? <laughs> well, I'm like, what the heck? Anyways, bless you. Bless you. So, anyways, you. hi, everyone. Uh, Retsu Midoshi, hello, thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Oh, Kyo, thank you. Kyo, thank you for the raid, everyone. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Neon. Welcome to the Neon Podcast. We're probably gonna wrap up this episode soon. This is first time guest, uh, Bunny Sakino Bunny. Hi, guys, her, I'm Bunny. Her name is in the uh, it's in the in the the in the title, so go check them out. Uh, but and if you want to stay, since we are wrapping up soon and go to the post podcast show, and it's Bunny's first episode, mind you, I didn't say this at the beginning because and my our little gimmick here at the at the Neon Podcast after the first episode, we get to hear them attempt their their ara ara on stream. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Guys, don't worry, I I practice. Don't worry, guys, it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be great. Yeah, and if you I want, and I'll say this, I'll give you the option because it's your guest. If you want. Uh, I I may, I can ara ara in solidarity with you. Oh yes, so, yes, okay. we gotta, we gotta. 
Yeah, not at the same time, just in solidarity. Like, I will do it before, or I'll do it. Yeah, whatever. We'll get we'll, when we get there. We get there. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we just gotta build up to it. It's like it's like the the trust fall where it's like you gotta do it. Trust me, pe- people. My stream has <laughs> yeah, heard yeah. it enough. They've heard me. They're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. it's neon. It's not. It's <laughs> nothing new. But maybe it's because I haven't streamed in a while. People haven't heard it. So yeah, maybe I'll ara ara in the boat. I'll, maybe I will if you want me to. Okay, what were we talking about? <laughs> what were we? Oh, I was right. A VTubing. Right. So then I got into a VTuber, and then I, I. D- d- contributing to society i went into etsy and i got the 2.0 which you saw which isn't technically publicly announced but there's a good amount of people that know about it because i, I wanted some art and bless you uh and yeah i'm just really excited because now i since majority of this model that i'm using right now is free outside of my hair um and i what could can collab with people i wanted to have a 2.0 but yeah even though I've had it prepped for about two or three months already, I can't use it because of my PC's old. But that's when I'll buy my new PC stuff and I'll build my PC in January when prices for, for big parts My curiosity drop. is, is it because of, like, does Vroid Studio, like, use less power? Or does what's the reason, like, between, like, the hot, like... So... Does that make sense? Yeah. No, no, I get you. Because... <laughs> Not saying that it uses less power. It's that right now, like the face tracking is is on and stuff. But even if I can't even use this model for some of the other games that I play, like I only use it for podcasts, oh. for chilling. If I'm trying to play a higher spec game, I can't use my model at all. I just have to use my I reactive. See. So that's why, like, you know how you said, oh, you built your PC in 2018. And like, do you, yeah. do you still have that same PC? You have a different PC. I have a, I have my different PC, the one that I showed you. You showed the picture me, right? Of. The right. very pretty one, right? Is <laughs> yeah, the the fish ca- fish tank, all white, yeah. good looking, co- except the card, I guess. Uh, the GPU. Uh, no, uh, my card is also white. Oh, it just looked different just in the added, lighting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I added like I even got the little cute three D printed things for the fans and mm-hmm. everything. Mm. Yeah. Guess how old my PC is, right now uh is it 2018 a little older (laughs) uh is it is it okay so is is it 2016 no 2017 2017 oh my god so yeah oh my god 2017 we blame so so yeah my pc is already seven years old coming up on eight um so my god Okay, I'm gonna be real. I built my PC in like 2018, and then I built another one like earlier this year. And the amount of shit that goes on in it nowadays is insane. Like, <laughs> why the fuck? Like, there's so many different things that I have to care about. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much simpler. <laughs> I know, I know, but. This is where I consider this an investment. I had to pull back on some other budgets for the next upcoming year so I can build this PC. You know, yeah. for, th- for those who know and follow me on socials and stuff, they like they know I go to Disneyland because I have a Disneyland pass or Ooh. formerly had a Disneyland pass. I canceled my pass so I could save money to build a new PC. <laughs> God damn it. I want this PC so bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my no, God. But- I dude building dude building a PC nowadays is so insane because there's so many different parts that are no longer cross compatible with each other. Yeah. So like you, I needed to get like a com like I wanted to like in the past, right? You were able to just switch out the part that you wanted. That was the reason why people were like, oh, it's cheaper to build your own PC right. because you could upgrade it at a cheaper cost. You only need to upgrade the part, right? Mm-hmm. Well, when I wanted to upgrade my PC, I actually the story behind that was a really interesting as oh god, it's anyway, uh, <laughs> do I got to die? I um but the like I tr- I tried to upgrade it, right? And I couldn't just upgrade one part because my battery was no longer 
enough Ooh. so i had to change my battery but the battery no longer fit in the case so i had to get a new case oh my God. and then once i realized that right the motherboard was no longer working right so i had to get it and i was realizing holy shit it's cheaper for me to just get a new pc than yeah. to just upgrade my singular part and that was the most frustrating thing about it because i was like they they ru what did they do they ruined pc building for the <laughs> worse I, now now uh-huh go on oh no go go first no 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 because no. i was like i guess it depends because i was like for me right when i was when i built this pc i went i'm not gonna I, I wasn't planning to upgrade i was gonna keep this pc for like five years and obviously it's been longer than five years uh until then a good point where i needed to upgrade which is now right and mm. then i'm gonna buy that's why i'm buying a, like a high-end pc parts so then i don't have to upgrade again so like i know like i get the upgrade pass part person if people like don't have the immediate money but for me i'm just like i'm gonna future proof my builds so i don't have to think about it right if something that's breaks then something I breaks but but you know i don't like if something breaks something breaks i get that but i'm just like I'm gonna go for quality here and do my best and hope that nothing breaks. And thankfully, mine hasn't break. People are surprised. Like seven and a half years. I'm like, yeah, dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, here's, when I originally, so the reason actually, I actually got my upgraded. Uh, again, I'll tell you. I originally had no issue with my PC. The the people who had issue with my PC, this was pre-streaming me. So mm -hmm. I never really cared about uh specs. But what would happen is I tried to play Baldur's Gate, but every time I played Baldur's Gate, it would shut down my PC within 30 minutes. Ooh. Like no no reason why, like it would just shut down the PC. So I could only play Baldur's Gate in 30 increments and I could only play it at 20 frames per second and it took me like a couple of minutes to load in between each scene. Mm -hmm. And my older cousin came to visit me and I was showing him Baldur's Gate and I was like, this game is so fun, like you should please play it. And he was like, yeah, I heard good things about it. And he saw me play and he's like, why is it taking so long for you to get to the title screen? I'm like, mm. oh yeah, no, that does it. It happens. You just gotta give it some time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he was like, "This is so sad to watch." Yeah. That's how that's how it is for me. For some games, I just have to really optimize it for low settings now. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, I'm just like, but I don't want to play like that anymore. So yeah, I get so, you. So so he bought me a he bought me a 3070. Oh, and how he, nice. Yeah. And that's how this entire thing is. So you could you could thank my older cousin for starting my VTubing uh, journey. Thank you, buddy's uh, if he cousin. Didn't, yeah, if he didn't send me that 3070 and I didn't try to get into PC building, then I didn't get addicted to VTube Studio. Mm -hmm. Never very nice, very nice. I like the way Truly. she says Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Basher. Baldur's Gate. I I don't know. I don't I don't get it. That it sounds no. I don't know what that means either. I don't hear I what Basher is. I said normal. Okay. I, I, oh yeah. well. I'll yeah. say it again. Baldur's Gate. You know, say mm -hmm. it one more time for you. Baldur's Gate. Another time. Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I don't I don't get it. It sounds normal to me too. I oh, uh, you know what? It is fine. If if the people like it, I will dance like a monkey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Always for the people. Always for the people. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'm thinking, oh, I think buddy it. buddy right, streams for the that. people. <laughs> you could clip that like seconds of me saying that on repeat. Good good job. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, All right, well. Well, but it's just very enunciated. Oh, that is true. It is very enunciated. That is very yeah. true. Yeah. No comment. I, 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 I think I end up speaking a little bit more enunciated uh, oh. in general. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, well, Bunny, I think we're going to wrap up this episode. We've gone for about an hour and 45 which Yay. is pretty it's a pretty long episode we still got the post podcast show which i don't think we're gonna watch anything post podcast we'll probably just chill and chat a little bit longer uh do you okay. have after the post podcast show did you want to play some arams or are you just gonna chill and do something else <gasps> arams all right cool yeah 
So we'll go ahead and do some ARAMs because I'm looking at the score of the Dodgers game. I don't need to watch that. Watch the last oh, inning. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're not. We'll we'll not talk about that. Um, and oh, no. it's in peace. It's okay. It's okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, as, we'll, as a we'll, esports T1 fan, I can't relate. We stay winning up in here. <laughs> Okay, look. Oh my god. All right. Now I have now I have something to talk about in the in the post podcast show, <laughs> esports related. Okay. But uh sh also shout out to Kyo uh in chat. What she was through her community that I met Bunny in the first place. So shout out oh, to yeah, Kyo. That's true. Yeah. So, was it did you was it because you knew Kyo or is it someone else that dragged you into Kyo's server? Or uh no Kyo Kyo um Let's see. I don't remember. I'm mm. stupid. Uh, <laughs> same. Same. I think Kyo, I think Kyo raided me. Oh, well, there you go. Kyo, thank you for introducing Kyo. me to a new friend that is. Yeah, and Sukiyo then and then I oh yeah, and then I went into her stream one time to play League. <laughs> nice. Nice. And then I remember now. It's a truly anticlimactic meeting. I, 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 and again, it all just revolves around League of Legends. Of course, so, it's same for me. Same for me. That's how I met Kyo. So. Yeah, yeah. What? How's? What is the saying? The saying is like, "All's well that ends in League." You know. No, don't don't ever say that. <laughs> no, no, it all leads to League. But yeah. yeah, all roads lead to League of Legends. No, all roads lead to me. F quote faker, uh, <laughs> uh, the goat. Anyways, uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna chill for a bit. Shout out to Kyo. She's the reason why I got. I know so many VTubers. So Yay. there you go. Um, but yeah, we'll stick around for Bunny's Ara Ara, and I guess my own Ara Ara because that'll be part of that. If you want to watch uh, the episode on YouTube, it'll be posted within the next week or so. Hopefully, I don't lag on it because I have some other stuff. I also uh, also an announcement if you're watching on YouTube. You know, I don't. I'll make an announcement post later. Uh, some original music stuff, original and not original music is going to be coming out of my channel soon enough. Uh, and yeah, in the next couple months, I don't know if I'll release it all when I do my 2.0 and stuff but we'll see how i want to release everything so keep be on the be on the lookout for that that's going to be exciting um i'll also kill me the little femboy there on the in the jar in the bottom left but <laughs> yeah um we can talk about that later <laughs> why there's a femboy neon in a jar on the desk yeah what a cutie what a cutie uh, right die 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 on there <laughs> there's a cutie in a jar yeah fem fem boy yeah, yeah, yeah. yes basher you've seen the art you know you've seen the art basher okay but anyways we're gonna zoom wrap in, up this. zoom in zoom into yeah. those come on the, no the, they they can find the art later <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a that's a, it was an inside joke turned into another inside joke turned into art which is now an outside joke <laughs> Uh, okay, but yeah, we'll wrap up this episode. Uh, and we'll go on Paul's podcast show, and we can chill a little bit more. Uh, Bunny, any any last lightning round questions, comments, concerns? Thanks for being on, by the way. Yeah, no, thank you for inviting me. It's uh, it's all been a fun, pleasant time. Yeah, you know, I, I I didn't know what to expect. Mostly, I did watch a couple of your episodes previously when you linked it. I was like, this seems pretty chill. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but feel free yeah. to always see now see now that I know you're chill and you're cool and all that good stuff. Uh you you now have the opportunity to uh if you want to be on a if you're chilling on a week and you're like you have nothing to do and you're like, "Hey Neon, can I be on your podcast?" I'm like and I'll be like, "Sure, let me check if I have any guests available and you can come back on, buddy." Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have that. That would that. be fun. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Any any last words and stuff other than yeah, you watch some episodes. Mm, probably. Oh, that disappeared. Oh, she has transformed Henshin. <laughs> oh, oh my, oh my. Eh. Like and subscribe. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. All right.
Say, I say, think that's it. Yeah, but if you're if you're still here on Twitch, check uh, stick around. Stream isn't going to be ending for a while. Like I said, post podcast show in League of Legends for Aram. So uh, say say bye YouTube, uh, buddy. Say bye YouTube. Bye YouTube.